hello everyone welcome to the power apps portal series part 2 in this video we are going to see about how to show and hide the different authentication method in the power app portals and in previous video we have seen how the authentication method works but in previous video we forgot one authentication method which is uh, authentication by using email address and the password so we are going to cover that as well so let's begin with that authentication method so currently what we have we have this portal and uh, in this portal the user can log in using the username and password but what we want is we want user to log in with their email address and password so how we can enable that thing so to enable this thing first first of all you have to open the portal management app and in that you have to go to the site settings so this is the portal management app and in this portal management app go to the site settings uh, initially you will not be able to see the, uh, so here what is happening here a lot of properties are there if you enable this property if you want to enable any property then you just have to make it as a true and if you want to disable then make it as a false so to enable that property of email address and password we have to uh, add one property which is not uh, added here yet so if it is added for your site then you can simply uh, edit that property if not then uh, you can use this one i mean copy this thing and create the new site settings in that site setting paste this and the website you have to add select your website portal and make it as a true and then save it once you save this clear the cache of the portal so basically if you have if you log in with the system admin or web role uh, inside the portal then you can go to this link uh, underscore services slash about so that you will find this page and you can clear the cache so that you whatever you are changing here that will get reflect uh, earlier okay so cache is clear if i refresh now uh, see here username will get changed to email because we have changed the property we have enabled that uh, property of email so it will take some time to refresh the page because we have cleared the cache that's why and after this what we are going to do is we are going to show and hide this option register and redeem invitation options uh, and also there is one option but i will tell you later that also we are going to uh, show and hide we are going to see how we can show and hide these options yeah so you can see that it, it's still not reflected username didn't get changed so we need to check why it is not reflecting first what i uh, what i will do is go here again check this local login by email is true I need to check whether I already have this property or not. If it is exists, then it will create the problem. That's why. Yeah, I already have this one, so I can delete one of uh, one of the property. So if you already have this property, then just make it as an enable. If you don't have, then and only then create. Now, if I save this, if I clear the cache again. Now, if I go here, refresh the page, the email address is there. And now I can log in with my email address. And this user will be successfully logged in. Yeah. Now, this is one thing. Another thing, what we have to do is we have to show and hide a particular uh, uh, login option, authentication object, option. For example, in this sign in page, we have three things register redeem invitation and azure id option let it load so what if we want to hide that one of the option it's taking a lot of time yeah so this is the page sign in page is there so here we have register redeem invitation azure id option i want to hide this register option so how i can do this again you have to go to the site settings in site setting you will find the property of registration okay open registration search here like open registration check that this one authentication registration open registration enable make it as a false save it clear the portal cache and then refresh this page see 
the register option is hidden okay now what if i want to show the register option and hide this redeem invitation option then what you have to do is again go to your uh, site setting make it enable okay you want to show that register option so make it enable and the redeem invitation you have to hide so for redeem invitation there is an option called invitation enabled this one invitation enable make it as a false save it clear the portal cache again and then yeah after clearing the portal cache then we have to go to this page again refresh this and then you will see the register option here and redeem invitation is gone now i want to hide this external sign in as well then how i can hide this external sign in and then azure ready button then how i can do this again there is a property two property you have to do one is azure ad authentication is there azure ad login enable this is the property uh, authentication register azure ad login enable make it as a false save it this will, what this this will hide this button but we don't want this external sign in option as well so to hide this there is another property so you can go here and you can check the external login enabled this is the one make it as a false save it clear the portal cache yeah okay so yo okay so our portal cache is clear so go here refresh this now you will not see this thing external sign in and azure because we have disabled these properties let it refresh it will take some it will take some time i will add all these property name in my blog as well so that you can uh, you will be aware there as well sometimes what happens if uh, you can find the more things on my blog as well that i haven't covered in the video so my blog will be updated in that case so you can check that blog as well see uh, those two property external sign in and buzzer ready button is disabled because we have disabled those two property so in this way you can show and hide the particular uh, authentication method as per your project requirement so that's pretty much for uh, this video and we will see the next thing uh, uh, other things related to the portal in the next video which will include the web roles and how to handle what are the web links all those things